About a month ago, we uncovered the biggest Gemini CLI update, where it introduced a new wave of interactivity that turned the terminal into something way more powerful. But now, things have changed again, and this time around, it is taking a massive leap forward. Gemini CLI has received a huge revamp, and it's thanks to the release of the Gemini 3.0 Pro. And we all know how incredible that model is. It's one of the most capable and intelligent AI models out there, where it brings any ideas to life and absolutely excels in every domain, especially coding. And now the Gemini CLI is powered by this Gemini 3.0 Pro model, and the experience is honestly revolutionary in all fronts. But for those who do not know, Gemini CLI is an open source terminal based tool that lets you interact with Gemini models directly through the command line. And with this new update, Things get wild because you have a smarter and more reliable agentic capabilities within the terminal, the ability to turn visual ideas into working apps, generating complex shell commands with natural language, and so much more. To showcase the quality, just take a look at this game that it built in one shot. Something that would typically take weeks was literally generated in three minutes and it did it better. This is with full project generation, agentic coding, and multi-file reasoning. And with this combination, it basically turns game development into a cheat code. This is just one example of what you can do with Gemini CLI powered by the new Gemini 3.0. And before we start exploring all the new features, to get started with the new Gemini update, you want to go ahead and copy the npm install command to install the latest version and you can run this within your command prompt. And once you run this command, it will install the latest packages of the Gemini 3.0 CLI version. To start off with the biggest update is obviously with the integration of the Gemini 3 Pro model within Gemini CLI. You're not just getting smarter code, you're getting full project generation straight from the terminal. This model is going to take a single high level description and turn it into a full on complete runnable build handling the architecture, assets and optimization and multi-file reasoning automatically directly within the CLI. And the best part is it's completely for free. Whether it's building a complex 3D 3JS demo or a full stack app or a custom workflow, the Gemini 3 Pro holds and assembles everything end to end. It's the fastest way to turn an idea into a working product without touching a dev server or a boilerplate setup. For example, it was able to build a visually stunning voxel simulation of the Golden Gate Bridge, and it was able to do this by completing it with 3D visuals, shaders, UI controls, and optimized scene logic all inside a single ready to go open HTML file. And it did this thanks to the Gemini 3 Pro being used within the terminal tool. Here is another example where it was able to turn a visual idea into a working app. It does this by analyzing the sketch in this case, like a real UI that recognizes components, layouts, and styling, and then it instantly generates the full HTML, CSS, and JavaScript needed to turn that visual concept into a functional, futuristic project consultation interface. Next up is where it's super simple as just saying that Gemini CLI is genuinely going to be useful for everyday engineering because it uses the Gemini 3 Pro which can now understand and execute complex multi-step terminal tasks with near perfect precision. This is where it's going to turn natural language prompts into fully formed shell commands, running workflows like git, bisect automatically and translating dense terminal outputs back into clear English so that you can focus on the actual problem. Something cool that Gemini 3 Pro lets you do with Gemini CLI is where you can now generate fully accurate user facing documentation directly from your code. You can analyze functions, parameters, and app logic to produce organized searchable docs and architectural overviews without any manual writing. And this is gonna overall make a huge productivity boost for developers and open source projects looking to have human readable language based off of the return values, as well as translating complex logic that you would want into readable format. Regarding the Gemini 3 Pro update, the last update I want to focus and mention is that you can now debug live cloud services end to end, coordinating multiple tools like Cloud Run and Sync, and you can identify root causes of performance issues, suggesting fixes, and even deploying them where you can turn what used to be a multi-step investigation into a single seamless workflow, thanks to the Gemini 3 Pro. With the new update, 
Gemini Sula's interactive shells now make it super easier and clear when they're waiting for user input. Thanks to custom loading phases, you can now also press Ctrl plus F or Command plus F to focus on commands that require interactions like git commit or npm create. This UX improvement prevents confusion so that you won't miss mistakes or mistake a paused input for Gemini CLI thinking or running indefinitely, making the workflow smoother and more intuitive for developers. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. Another new update is the improvement of usability by making Control plus S copy paste mode clear with visual hints when selecting text. It fixes slash clear as well to properly wipe the screen and lays the groundwork for smoother multi-line prompt handling in upcoming updates. Overall, the Gemini CLI has gotten a major UI overhaul with many new features that we're going to be exploring one by one. Start off, there is an overhaul in its rendering, which is eliminating flickering and bouncing prompts to deliver a smoother, more intuitive, and visually stable terminal experience. There is now a new rendering process where users can now navigate prompts directly with their mouse, so you don't need to rely on arrow keys to move through the input, making terminal interactions faster and more intuitive. There's also a small update to rendering, which eliminates visual glitches as well as resizing with the terminal. And it's going to ensure a clean, polished display at all times. And you can see here that you can change and shift how the appearance of the CLI looks based off the resize. The CLI is now featuring a sticky header section for tool confirmations and actions. It's going to keep context visible during complex interactions. So you as a user can always know what's actually happening. They have also gone ahead and added many new features like extensions. There is a new way for you to connect different tools and personalize the command line with these different tools. And now they've added a list of new ones that you can use in different ways, whether that's related to a database tool or something like an MCP. There's a lot of these new tools that are basically integrated within the extension store and it's super easy to install it. For example, if you want to use a code review, you can simply click on it and install this extension using the following command. Gemini CLI also now includes the Jules extension. This is an autonomous sidekick that we've covered obviously on the channel, and it works asynchronously to handle coding tasks in the background. But now with Gemini CLI keeping you focused on active work within the terminal, Jules with this extension can clone your code, install dependencies, it can even fix bugs and even submit changes to new branches, enabling more of a offload for repetitive and time consuming tasks and accelerate your overall workflow. And obviously having both of these tools powered by the Gemini 3.0, you're gonna be able to get some pretty impressive results thanks to these combinations. Another new feature is the integration of a code wiki CLI. This is a new tool by Google that was just released last week. And this is a way for you to accelerate your code understanding within the CLI. This tool is essentially a wiki for your code base. You can get the ability to understand your code better by having it always up to date, scanning your full code base and generating documentations every time you're requesting for it. You can get intelligent and context aware responses as well as integrated and actionable actions from code wiki directly integrated with the CLI, which should be coming soon. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below, or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's basically it, guys. There's a lot more to this. There is a change log that showcases each and every small change that has been introduced to the new Gemini CLI update, which talks about bug fixes, integrations, and small UI and UX improvements. I'll leave all these links in the description below so that you can get a better idea of this new update. But in my opinion, this is becoming one of the best terminal-based tools that you can access completely for free, especially powered by the Gemini 3.0. But with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and got some sort of value. I'll leave all these links there. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the second channel. 
join the newsletter, join our Discord, follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.